Today I'm going to be building a stool and what's cool about this stool is the design part of it. Uh, I've had this design tucked away for some time and just haven't really gotten around to doing it. Uh, but today we're going to build it. Uh, so it consists of three pieces of wood, uh, the first of which is the round top and I'm drawing that out with Tim Sway's new square, new tool. If you don't know who Tim Sway is, check him out over at timsway.net uh, and support him by getting one of his tools. So this is, like I said, three pieces of wood. The top is round, and then you have two uh, rectangular pieces of wood, which need to have certain pieces cut out. Uh, but the first piece that you saw me drawing out was the, the round top. That's what I'm cutting out here on the bandsaw. Uh, this can be done with a circular saw and a jigsaw. Uh, in this video, I'm using a table saw and a bandsaw. Either is fine. And so I've cut out the round top. Now I'm going to cut out the other two pieces uh, for the, the legs. And so the first step in this project is to uh, cut out the different parts to where the two legs can just slide together. So in this whole design, there aren't any fasteners. You don't use any glue. You can. Uh, you can use screws and glue if you'd like to kind of hold it in place uh, more securely. But the whole design aspect of this project is to be able to put it together, knock it down, and just go with it. If it was scaled up to like a table, uh, you can knock it down, store it under a bed or along a wall or, you know, somebody that is moving quite frequently or a student or something like that. Uh, so that I can see where this can be really useful and, and, and handy in several applications. So the first leg or the first board, this rectangular piece of board, I drew out all the pieces that I need to cut out. And I'm gonna transfer that here over to the other piece of wood with the exception of the slot that you see going down the middle. Uh, and the reason for that is uh, the other piece will have the a shorter slot coming up from the arch, whereas the, the, the first one that I did had the slot coming down from the top. And this is gonna allow these two pieces of uh, these two boards to slide together and create a, a crisscross effect and to where they just lock in place on one another. Uh, so uh, here's the second piece. I'm cutting out the, the bottom arch uh, and because I've transferred it, they should match up when they go together and there, should be, there shouldn't be any uh, inconsistencies there. And so after I get that all cut out, um, I'm just going to Draw, put it together and draw out where the legs meet the top and that's really honestly the best way you can measure um, I have plans for this and I've got the measurements on there uh, but as far as getting it accurate I recommend just putting the legs together like so and drawing out where these uh, so-called through tenons are going to be uh, going through the top uh, so that's what I'm doing here I'm cutting out the the notches around the edge of the circular top where the legs will connect. So I want to just pause for a second and say thank you to all of my patrons. Uh, these guys support me over on Patreon and I just want to say that I appreciate them very much. If you want to learn more about how you can support us through Patreon, you can find a link down in the description that will take you to our Patreon page. So getting back to the project, this is the part of the project where I am sanding out all of the imperfections. I could have used a circle cutting jig to, ha to get a nicer round top, uh, but I freehanded it and so now I'm having to go back and sand out all of the imperfections. Uh, so think about that if you try to do this yourself. So, But now you can kind of see how this is going to look. So the two leg portions of the stool fit together with those slots that create the base and the top goes on and the notches and the so-called tenons there will just fit together real nice and snug and so you don't need any screws or glue with this thing. That makes it a perfect project for say a young student or a new woodworker uh, because you can make this with limited tools uh, but also this could be a good project if you scaled it into a table or something for somebody to have this in say a dorm room or somebody that moves because it breaks down pretty easy and it's easy, easy to store. Um, also, those that like to build and sell things, say on Etsy, um, this would be easy to ship once it's broken down. So, But whatever your case is, if you're interested in learning how to build this, we have plans for it. There's a link down in the description. Check it out if you're interested. Uh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.